California is sinking into more debt. Governor Newsom today announcing his revised budget, showing the state is facing an almost $32 billion deficit. ABC 10's Bridget Biorlo is live outside the state capitol, where lawmakers and the media are gathered. Bridget, what do we know so far about what the governor has said? Well, Walt, he just wrapped up questions from reporters and he's trying to explain why the state budget deficit went from about 23 billion all the way up to about 32 billion dollars. He says in part it's for those devastating winter storms that extended the tax deadline for a number of people who live in those hardest hit regions to October. He said that's part of the role, but he's largely putting the finger on Congress who have reached a stalemate in regards to the federal debt ceiling. He says that California is going to feel the wrath of that, even in terms of unemployment, if they can't reach an agreement by next month. He's also blaming rising interest rates that is affecting all Americans in terms of purchasing a home and other investments. And he's also blaming the instability and uncertainty of our institutions, primarily the banking sector. We saw a couple of banks in California fail, and there's a lot of of instability in regards to that. He says we will need to make some tough decisions moving forward in terms of delaying promised funding and even making some budget cuts. Take a listen. We are walking into a budget where we need to maintain our prudence and we need to prepare not just for the short term but the medium and long term. And so with that, reserves continue to matter. And that's why we are committed to increasing our reserves pursuant to the rules and regulations established under Prop 2, but also under the rules of engagement as it relates to addressing the issues of resilience and prudence. Thankfully, California does have a fairly healthy reserve fund that was started under the leadership of Governor Jerry Brown uh, prior to Governor Gavin Newsom. So they will tap into those funds before making any drastic cuts. But the big question, Walt, is just a year ago, we had a $100 billion budget surplus. So our Morgan Reiner asked the governor, how do you square that? Where does the money come from? How did we lose all that in such a short period of time? To which he said, we have a progressive agenda, and that's the result of of that mission, Walt. Yeah, when the country has trouble, California really feels it because of our high tech sector. And so uh, we feel it more so than most, and it bounces up and down. Bridget Biorlo and Morgan Reiner, thank you at the Capitol today.